This is Air Rail Images, video magazine number 34. I'm Fred Johnson, and I'll be your host. Slip back in time to 1976. In Harlingen, Texas that October, the Confederate Air Force gave an air show for the ages. Many Americans know the CAF today as the Commemorative Air Force, an organization with 85 geographically diverse units that have, collectively, about 175 aircraft with which to tell stories of military history at air shows. The legacy of the CAF includes its era at Harlingen, Texas, where the group honed skills in flying diorama presentations and pioneered the use of spectacular pyrotechnics to punctuate the action during their air show. Between October 7 and 10, 1976, the skies over Harlingen, Texas were filled with warplanes from the Second World War, modern military jets, air show performers including Bob Hoover, Art Scholl, Dwayne Cole and others, the Blue Angels, and a six helicopter army demonstration team, the Silver Eagles. Salient impressions linger from that 1976 gathering in Texas. The CAF was populated by can-do aviators who extended a hearty Texas welcome to visitors. That spirit can still be found in today's commemorative Air Force.
Warhawk Air Museum's events have been affected by the pandemic. Your support is especially important now. Have you joined the Warhawk Air Museum? Please check out the Aerial Images channel for more action videos from Warbird Roundup. When the film clips are too short to stand alone and too sweet to leave on the cutting room floor, we bring you short and sweet movie clips. That's the Texas II operating at Stone Mountain, Georgia in 1963. The Texas II passes the General II. Both of these 440s were retired from live steam service in the 1980s. Texas II is in Knoxville, Tennessee, where it may return to service. General II is on static display in the Southeastern Railway Museum in Duluth, Georgia. The NC and St. L Railroads 484 number 576 was well groomed when seen in Nashville, Tennessee in August 1964. An LNN GP30 leads a freight near Marietta, Georgia on a brisk day circa late 1963. The war in North Africa provided opportunities for the Allies to obtain examples of German warplanes in various conditions. This color footage was associated with a program about the 33rd Fighter Group and may represent a Messerschmitt Bf 109 being examined by that unit in 1943. Allied airmen studied a damaged but largely intact Bf 109 in North Africa. A number of flyable BF-109s were shipped to the United States where they revealed their secrets to Army Air Force's test pilots and engineers at Wright Field. Spare parts were in short supply. The AAF noted the fact that German aircraft were seldom brought down over Allied territory, making their capture and salvage rare. The advance of Allied troops on the continent in the last half of 1944 and into 1945 yielded more examples for inspection. This is the BF-109F at Wright Field. The Army Air Forces created an illustrated report on it. It carried U.S. inventory number EB-100 during stateside flight testing.
This data plate image represents a tropicalized BF109F built in 1941. Allied analysts used every scrap of available information like this in an effort to plot the timeline and magnitude of German military construction. The date was 2 November 1947. Howard Hughes flew his huge wooden H-4 Hercules flying boat, often called the Spruce Goose, for the first and only time. Universal International Newsreel footage donated to the National Archives captures glimpses of Hughes in his characteristic fedora as he prepares the monstrous seaplane for taxi tests at Long Beach Harbor. A series of taxi passes followed. And then, Hughes eased the flying boat out of the water at about 135 miles an hour for a mile-long hop that lasted 26 seconds. For the remainder of his life, Howard Hughes protected the H-4 in its hangar. As of this video, the aircraft is on display in a museum in McMinnville, Oregon. And thank you for watching Aerial Images Video Magazine number 34. The rest of the Aerial Images Video Magazine issues are on the Aerial Images channel. We hope you'll watch.